Hey guys, welcome back into our vSphere 6.5 ICM hands-on training series. This is the lab one into the series. Uh, in this lab, we'll go ahead and look at how do you really go ahead and install ESXi 6.5. This is the high-level objective that we plan to cover. So in the first lab, we'll go ahead and configure a Cisco UCSC series for the installation of ESXi. So I'll walk you through some of the Cisco UCSC series configuration that we need to do uh, before we go ahead and start installing the ESXi and once that is done we'll go ahead and install the VMware ESXi 6.5 on top of the Cisco UCSC series server. So without any further delay let me go ahead and launch the Cisco UCSC series CIMC which is Cisco Integrated Management Controller. So I have logged on to my Cisco UCSC series CIMC and as you can take a look the server that will be working in this lab is a Cisco UCSC 220M4S. Uh, this is the software version that I'm running on the SIMC is 2.08b. Uh, there's a latest version out there. You can go ahead and install that if you like. So now let's go ahead and jump directly onto the storage tab. And on the storage tab on the left hand side, uh, you can see that on this server, I have a Cisco 12 gig SAS modular RAID controller. And on this RAID controller is connected with the eight hard drives, each of one terabyte. So this server has a capacity of eight terabyte that we will be working uh, throughout the series and as you can see I have not created any virtual drives I just have the physical drives at the same time on the left hand side there is a Cisco flex flash controller so you can see on this server I went ahead and installed a one flex flash of a 60 gig capacity this is installed on slot one as you can see there are two slot on this one but I will be making use of only one slot but if you are doing in production or something I highly encourage you to have the flex controller in both the slots and as you can see I went ahead and created a virtual drive uh, this is the name of the virtual drive is hypervisor if I come back to the controller info uh, it clearly says okay hey there is a physical drive count as one there is a virtual drive count one and and the way you configure this is you go to configure cards you go ahead and specify the partition name and you specify okay hey this is the slot where I have plugged in my flex flash once that is done you go ahead and select that save the changes everything looks good there is another change that we need to do uh, so for that we need to go under BIOS under the BIOS we have to go ahead and configure this boot order and as you can see in the boot order there are only two things that I have configured is the virtual media and there is a local hard drive the way to configure is the boot order uh, you go under the BIOS and from the BIOS there is an option that says configure boot order. So now uh, we went ahead and configured the boot order. Everything looks good. Uh, that's the only thing that we need to do on Cisco CIMC. And don't worry, we will be making use of uh, these uh, physical hard drives later on throughout the series. Let's say when we are working with the VMS volumes or working with the data stores, we'll go ahead and start configuring these drives and uh, we will use them throughout the series. Now let's go ahead and launch the... So you go under the server, summary page, there is something called launch kvm console so we will go ahead and launch our kvm console so remotely we can start installing the esxi on top of the server so i went ahead and launched the cisco's uh the kvm console and as you can see we are right now sitting in the kvm console so the first thing we need to go ahead and do on the file menu there is an option that says virtual media under the virtual media uh, we have an option that says there are two options there is a create image and then there is another option that says activate virtual devices so let's go ahead and click on activate so once you activate uh, just go ahead and accept the changes save them completely and then simply click on apply once that is done will just take a couple of seconds so right now it's initializing and once that is done again under the virtual media we have many more options so now we'll go ahead and say hey map the cd and dvd in this case go ahead and browse the cd dvd location onto your machine so let me go ahead and uh, pick one of the locations so let's go ahead and select our esxi image and we'll just go ahead and simply click on open and go ahead and click on map devices once that's done now we can go ahead and simply power cycle the server so click on power cycle and give it a couple minutes once the server is power cycled uh, you can can see there is Cisco logo I will be presented with a couple of information so in this case we'll go ahead and press F6 because we want to boot from a specific device in this case and I went ahead and press F6 on my keyboard and it clearly says entering boot selection menu the server I'm working has a capacity of 128 gig of memory and we kind of saw that it has a capacity of 8 terabyte right now the server is going through the initialization screen I'll just take a couple of uh, seconds here now the server is 
entering into the boot selection menu. So we are presented with a couple of options to boot from. If you recall, we had mapped our CD DVD to the KVM. So in this selection, we will go ahead and select Cisco Virtual KVM Mapped Virtual DVD. You are on that option, just simply go ahead and press enter. And now the system will boot using the CD DVD that was mounted. There are two options being presented. Hey, are you, do you want to boot from the local drive or do you want to start the installer? In this case, we want to go ahead and select our installer, which is 6.5.0. We'll go ahead and select that and simply go ahead and press enter here and now you can see it's right now loading the operating system it's reading the uh, contents from the cd dvd that we have mapped it'll be just a couple of minutes and it started to load some of the vmware packages currently our system is going through the loading of the packages it's going to be a couple of minutes uh, before the package loading is done now we have the package load is done now the system is trying to initialize few other things so it will just take a few more minutes here and as you can see on top of the screen it says the vmware esxi 6.5 uh, that's being loaded as of right now so it'll be a few more minutes uh, before this So at this stage, uh, the package loading is done and we are presented with the welcome screen. And on top of the screen, you can see it says VMware ESXi 6.5.0 installer. There are a couple things here. You can go ahead and read. There is a URL uh, compatibility guide. If everything looks good, just simply go ahead and press enter here. So we'll go ahead and press hit enter here. You are presented with the end user license agreement. You can go ahead and read this license agreement. Once you're done, uh, just simply go ahead and hit the F11 key on your keyboard. Now the system is scanning for the available devices, so this could take a few seconds here. Once the scan is done, you can go ahead and select the drive uh, where you want to go ahead and install your ESXi. So I went ahead and selected my drive and I'll simply go ahead and press enter here on the screen. You are presented with the keyboard layout, so in my case it's a US default, so I'm just leaving that to the default. Again, so if you need to change, go ahead and make use of the arrow keys and once everything looks good, just simply go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Now you are presented uh, with a password to enter. So simply go ahead and enter your password and you need to repeat the same password twice. So simply go ahead and enter the password that you need. So let me go ahead and if you need to change the password, you can go ahead and retype the password if you desire. Once everything looks good, just simply go ahead and hit enter here. And now the system is scanning. Uh, again, it says, you know, gathering additional information. This may take a few minutes. And now on the confirm install page, you are presented in the installer is configured to install ESXi 650 on this. Warning that this will be partitioned if everything looks good. If you need to make any change, you can press F9 and go back. At this stage, if you want to cancel the ESX install, install you can go ahead and simply hit the escape key on your keyboard. But if everything looks good, just like in my case, I will go ahead and simply press F11 on my keyboard and let the install continue further. So it'll be a couple more minutes. Uh, once after a few minutes, we'll have the ESXi install done. So our ESXi install just completed. In my case, it took uh, less than 90 seconds and you can clearly see ESXi 650 has been installed successfully. You can go ahead and read some of the information. Eval mode is available for 60 days. Remove the installation media before rebooting. So reboot the server to start using ESXi 6.5. So before I go ahead and press an enter here, uh, I'll go ahead and unmap the CD DVD that we had mapped from the virtual media option simply go ahead and select and just simply go ahead and unmap the drive requested simply go ahead and press yes and just simply go ahead and press enter and thank you this concludes the installation of our lab one into our series i will see you in the next episode of the series thank you